Hey everybody, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Well, we're going to do another subscriber request and the question that I got today was um, about animating a flag and I did a tutorial on that in the past. But in this case, more specifically, animating a flag attached to a flagpole that is actually moving. So like a waving flag. Okay, that's slightly different. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to quickly set up a, uh, a flag and a flagpole. So I'll just uh, start with our flagpole here and I'll just give that some height. Hit R, pull that up and then right click, go to vertex, select the top there and hit R and just slightly scale that in to make it a little bit tapered. And just to give that some definition, we're going to go to our modeling menu. We'll go to Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool, and we'll add one there and one there. Q on our keyboard, right click face, select, come on, select that face row and go to Edit Mesh Extrude and give that a negative thickness like so. And we'll just quickly give this some texture Right click face, we'll take all of that. Right click assign new material, Lambert. And this is really not about the modeling guys. It's it's more about, you know, setting up the rest of the scene. So I don't want this to take too long. Okay. So we're gonna right click at a face. We're gonna select all that other stuff, including these. And we're gonna right click assign new material. Lambert and we'll do white. There we go. So that's our flagpole. Right click object mode. And we'll hit R to kind of scale it in just a bit more. And then right click vertex, drag click the bottom, hit W and pull that down. Okay. And then we're going to take a polygon plane. We'll use that as our flag. Hit E to rotate to 90 degrees. There we go. We're going to give this 20 by 20 subdivisions. So it will actually be able to deform. And then we're going to go to our translate values and set everything to zero to get it nice and centered. We're going to hit W, we're going to bring that out. And then we're going to take our flagpole and we're going to do the same. Set that all to zero. There we go. We're now going to bring down the flagpole a bit and bring in our flag just to kind of match that up a little bit like so. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our flag and we're going to go up to uh, our FX menu. We're going to go to end cloth and create end cloth. And we're just going to quickly test that. So let's set up 500 frames and hit play. And there we go. So that's working. It's fine. And we're also going to select our flag and go up to end cloth, create passive collider and take this guy and create passive collider. Okay. Now we have our flag animated so far, especially when it's going to be connected to our pole, but we need to connect it in a way that when our pole moves and when we animate and keyframe that, that the flag will move as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our flag and we're going to right click our vertex and we're going to take that whole vertice row like that. And then we're going to shift select our flagpole and we're going to go up to constraint and we're going to select point to surface. Now that doesn't always take the first time around, but we'll see how that works out for us. Okay. We're going to select the whole deal. We're on frame one. We're going to hit S to keyframe that. Then let's scroll to, let's say, frame 100. And we're going to move the whole deal. 
and hit S. And now you can see that it's starting to respond OK. So when we hit play, the pole is moving. OK. So stop and go back. So when we're at frame 100 here, the next movement that we want, just to give it a little bit more realism, is for frame, let's do 140. OK. We're going to hit E. And we're kind of going to rotate it in this direction and hit S to keyframe. Then we're going to go to 180, hit E to rotate back, and hit S to keyframe. We'll do frame 240, rotate back to, let's try and get that fairly straight. There we go. Hit S once more, and then we're going to move to 300. And hit W, and kind of move it back here. Okay. Now, don't worry about what we're actually animating here. It's just to prove the point that the flag will follow the pole. That's kind of the idea. Okay. I'm going to go up to Display and turn off Grid. We're going to scroll back to Frame 1. Zoom out a little bit, and let's hit Play and see what we got. OK, so it's moving backwards. It's starting to tilt one way, the other way. And our flag should move back. Not quite sure about the last animation, but we'll do that again. OK, so from the beginning, it's moving back. It's tilting, and it's tilting. And you can see that it's following nicely. OK. And that's kind of what I wanted to demonstrate. So that's how you do that. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. And that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.